Thank you, Chair. Um, Minister Hadjadu, you claim that there is there a need for hotel quarantines uh, rather than to quarantine at home. You then claim that uh, the data to support that decision is incomplete. Can you table the evidence you do have, although incomplete, uh, to uh, support the determination uh, that hotel quarantining was required rather than at home? Um. No, what I'm saying is that the data is incomplete to determine the best approach at the border to manage COVID-19. We do know that mandatory quarantine has been an essential component of controlling COVID-19 domestically. And uh, we do know that uh, mandatory quarantine has reduced significantly the infiltration of COVID-19. But with the variants of concern, of course, we want to be able to screen those positive cases to understand how the virus is changing and shifting. So and it I is early days. I'm, I'm still confused then. You said you have the data is incomplete and yet um, you, you don't want to present it. And yet I'm, I'm, uh, I'm led to believe and, and I understand that there was a uh, federal judicial review done uh, just recently um, on, a, on a suit that was uh, came out of Alberta. And the Department of Justice lawyers on the government's behalf um, sent some information back that said that uh, they're not able to release the data used to make these determinations because it's cabinet confidences, which means that you do have some data. You're just not telling us. And um, don't, don't you think that, you know, as a government who trumpets themselves as being transparent would uh, want Canadians to know? Don't you think Canadians want to know the data used to make these important decisions? Yeah. Uh Mr. Speaker, again, uh, Canadians expect us to take strong measures at the border to prevent the importation of COVID-19. Of course, it's important that any Canadian that arrives at the borders who is positive or who does not have a quarantine plan that protects the other people in their household has an appropriate place to stay. That's why we have the designated quarantine facilities. And the quarantine hotels that we've uh, uh, contracted with the Canadian Hotel Association are there to help support Canadians to isolate while they await their mandatory test upon arrival at the border. And it is very important that we have the positive test to run sequencing on so that we can understand how the virus is shifting and changing. We Again, watch for so, variants of concern that we know so and still, for still, any changes uh, Chair, that we don't know. This, uh, the minister doesn't uh, have the data or doesn't want to share the data or isn't telling us the data that they do have. You know, in the time that I have left, uh, I just want to share my own thoughts and as well as Canadians and to, to both of you as ministers. Canadians believe and I believe that you have failed in your duty to protect Canadians and instead put them at greater risk. Um, you have refused to disclose information explaining the public health benefits leaving us to conclude that there is no data and no information to support your position on this. You misled Canadians and travelers, making them believe they would be in a hotel, but instead they were in an unlocked room with limited water, no food, and under watch of cameras with no security personnel to help them. This was a massive, expensive, and dangerous failure. And we have victims, only two that we know of, and if there's two, we know that there's a lot more who will now carry this for the rest of their life. Will you remove the risk to future Canadians and end this mandatory hotel quarantine? Yeah. Roughly a minute. Mr. Speaker, I, I, if I may, let me begin. Um, I, th I thank the member for his observations, but let me be very clear. The measures that we have put in place have been entirely intended to protect Canadians, and they have been effective in protecting Canadians from the from the introduction of the virus and, the and, and its variants in, into this country. Um, the, the allegations and of, of, of sexual assault are taken very seriously. Um, I would just remind the member that that th these members are these issues are being thoroughly investigated by the police of jurisdiction. I think it's probably appropriate to to wait the outcome of, of that investigation so that we can actually talk about the facts. But in, in the, the, both of these uh, these these terrible events are alleged to have occurred in jurisdictions not under uh, federal authority, and so they are being investigated. Um, I'd also remind the member that you know these measures, hotel quarantine, just as an example, has been introduced in the United Kingdom in Australia, in New Zealand, and many other countries around the world. And again, those countries like Canada 
are doing their very best to protect Canadians. And and frankly, this is okay. not a matter of politics. It's a matter of safety and of health of Canadians. Okay. That's our priority, that's and that's what we're going to